Hello, the internet. I'm going to refrain from making baseball jokes because I consider myself one. And that means uh, Glenn Fricker? Fuck you, Glenn. With all the love, of course. Uh, first of all, thanks to Holger and Wolf from Sandberg. Sandberg? And uh, Gregor from Base the World, uh, who worked together tirelessly to get me this, which I think, I don't know, but I think it's the California 2 TM4. It's got four strings, and it's technically jazzy, but with a biggie thing in the back and uh, stuff. It's the reinterpretation of the J thing, which they call California. Now, let's forget about that for a second. Let's look at this. Since about pff, 2008, I think, I've had this. And it's been my main base since then. Uh, it can do so many things. This is the Ken Taylor Basic. Back then, that retailed for 12.49, which is ridiculous. Made in Germany. And it's got all the things I'm looking for in a base. It's got active passive, it's got humbucker single coil, which means I get a lot of sounds out of it. Um, everything on it is super solid. I can't really scratch it up because it doesn't have the high gloss paint thing, but it's got a beautiful black blue burst um, active right there. It's got Evolute uh, good tuners. I don't know who makes them. I think that might be Schaller in this case, good ones. Uh, Active three band EQ, nothing in the fretboard. This five string has served me on a whole bunch of albums. Uh, I played with that when I uh, accompanied uh, choirs. I played with that in a cover band. Uh, it's just been the bass that's been my thing, my bass. Um, several bands that I produced after they played it in my studio bought this. Exactly that. I think three different guys were like, yep, that's it. The low B is ridiculous. It's right there. It's great for modern rock or metal when you need those low notes to be right there. It's a great bass. But I was looking for a four string. I have a six string fretless uh, from uh, Magnus, Magnus Krempel. Um, and I have a five string from him. I don't actually have a good four string or four string at all except my Harley Benton uh, fretless. So there was no other place I was going to go than Sandberg because this thing just is a freaking workhorse. So I wanted a workhorse in four string, this many. Now, for years, Sandberg was very close to the fender shape. And I like that now they went a little bit slightly off. It's slightly more un-something. Um, <laughs> unsymmetrical, is that the word? So I really like how they have this slightly asymmetrical body. I, it's a little bit different, the, the pickguard's different. And in this case, we have a humbuckery thing in the back, which you can switch single coil. I think that's what that's for. I would go to the website, but it's under construction right now, um, which means actually I can look at Toman. See, here we have volume. We have a blend between the two pickups. I think this is high and low. Humbucker single coil switch and active and passive. So pretty straightforward um, thing here. I love that Sandberg bridge. It's massive and it's actually kind of pretty. Um, I love the fact that they have like metal dots here. That's kind of their logo right there. Um, the tuners on this one, also Sandberg branded with the four dots on there. I have no idea what they are, but they're open. Oh, it has a serial number. Nice. Um, we have this string retainer, which is a pretty big ass piece of metal. Um, beautiful 
silver logo, nothing in the fretboard. I love this. I love the simplicity. I've already used this bass in a few recordings, which you might have heard at the beginning. Um, the bass player from Agnes Dei, the band that was here, played that live here in the studio. Uh, actually, for all the sessions so far that I had with bands, it was only Sandberg basses. Yeah. An early Cascade that was here played a, a five-string Sandberg. Um, Campaign Like Clockwork played my five-string, so yeah. It's Sandberg all the way. Let's check out a couple sounds of this thing. Oh, and a zero fret, by the way. That's what they all have. I had to check. So we're going to go... For me, I don't really go a lot of only bridge or on, uh, only bridge or only neck, or in this case, middle. I'm pretty much always in between on both of them. That's kind of my go-to sound for anything. In this case, I'm going to go... Single coil, single coil. I think that's what that is. We're going to check. Yep. And, well, I like to give it a little bit of everything. And um, I'm playing through the Vintage Ultra by Dark Glass because, well... Vintage Ultra 2, actually, because uh, that's really just the box to go through. It's right there on the table, uh, which, yes, that camera shows. So that's just the, that's the box to get if you go DI, and it's the one pedal I would have if I travel with my bass. Um, on the other hand, there could be also, I don't know, bass amps that you can use. I don't know what bass amps could... I don't know, there's a whole bunch that you can play. I don't know. What kind of bass amp could one play that looks like my mug? Hey, Ashdown, cool bass amps. And actually very inexpensive. And cool people. Hey, Lee. So, moving on. After my plug for Ashdown. Um, no drive on the thing. And in between here. That's not a very bitey sound. That's just something that beautifully rounds off your mix below. Oh, with a pick. Very fat and round. I'm gonna thin it out in the bridge. Or go humbucker in the bridge. Or 
in between with the middle and I call it this middle. I don't know bass. <laughs> That's actually a pretty damn cool sound. High frequency roll off if I wanted to. Subtle. More. I get some, some clicky. More bass, careful. <laughs> or no bass. Um, I really like the two little slits they have in here. It's subtle, but you can actually see it. Uh, or you go passive. If I can, if I could only play bass. I do like the idea of being able to shape it a bit with the active EQ. So, uh, oh, let's compare in the middle with the single coil and humbucker both together. Okay, so technically, we kind of have to do that, but not that I can. I don't know how to slap. I don't know, but it, that's what this model obviously does and is well known for. Um, so if we put some crank on it a little bit. the vintage order a little bit more of that I think in G. Always fun. You should not solo on bass. I'm sorry, bass players. It's just fun to play. I love playing bass in general, almost more than guitar. Sadly, there's always only one uh, bass track in a recording, which sucks because you're done with it so fast. So um, I hope I showed you some examples of actually real life stuff where this and my other uh, bass has been used. For the money, or in general, Sandberg offers incredible tools. They, they are not 
impossible to buy. If you're looking at Fodera, yeah, okay, that's nice. Well, 13,000 bucks for a base. Yeah, that's pretty. You're going to rock out with your cock out on a Fodera? Very likely not. Uh, they are fiddly people's bases, and that's good, and they're pretty. Uh, these are pretty as well. You get them, of course, in higher ranges with pretty tops and all that stuff. But these are tools for the working musician. And most people that are on stages that I know that play bass have a Sandberg. Because they freaking work and they don't disappoint ever. So if you're in the market for a bass uh, in a little bit of higher price range, actually there's the Electra something out now uh, under a thousand, uh, seven hundred or eight hundred. Um, some I don't quite know how what the deal there is. Maybe partially done in Asia or something, and then the rest done here. I don't know. Figure it out. Um, technically, I'm there to tell you, but I don't know. And the website's down. So what can I t what can I tell you? This is a tool that you will take with you for many, many years that will not disappoint you. I know it won't disappoint me because it will be here as my four-string J-type bass from now on. Thank you so much, Holger. Thank you so much, Gregor. Um, you will not regret it. And if you buy one, you won't regret it. Thanks, Leslie, for switching. Links below. Thanks, Ashton, for the mug. <laughs> Ashton got about as much advertising out of this video as Sandberg did, all Ashton gave me was a mug. Sandberg, you should have just given me a mug. Would have been so much smarter. But no, gave me bass. Thank you. Everybody at home sing along. Oh, 